Billions of shillings contributions from Christians were used to construct the building, which also has an underground floor and a gallery. What has made this project successful? Transparency. Whichever money could come in could be projected well. Venerable Reverend Canon Nathan Bobbs Mwesije, the Archdeacon of Great Ambarada, said the increasing population in the area was the reason for a huge structure which they believe will stand the test of time. Ugandans are becoming many, many, many. And that growth compared us to say we must build a church which will accommodate and will, will stand for a test of time for about 70 years from now. He said the church leaders felt that they should plan for Mbarara and neighboring areas which have very many people from different backgrounds and cultures. We don't want Christians to build the church today. It is filled with people within five years. Then we go back to build another one. Barara municipality that was granted city status in May this year is one of the biggest in the country with a population of more than 230,000. Reverend Mwesi just said that transparency among the clergy in the archdeaconry is one of the greatest contributing factors that has helped them build the church within a few years. An additional 1 billion shillings is required to complete the remaining works which include installation of church pews and sound equipment. During the commissioning in October, President Museveni credited the church for supporting and establishing programs that improved the living standards of the people. In a speech that was read for him by the Minister of General Duties, Mary Karoro Kurut, the president, who contributed 430 million shillings towards roofing, called upon all Christians to be progressive. We need people with progressive and analytical minds. We need a population with the developmental and transformational ideas and not simply spectators. Construction on the church was started in 2008.